Now, let us know about the Himalayan rivers in detail. The three principal Himalayan river systems include the Indus, the Ganga, the Brahmaputra, The Himalayan rivers originate in the Himalayan mountains. The region of origin of these rivers is almost same, with just few kilometers of separation from each other. First, the flow of these rivers is parallel to the mountains and then the rivers suddenly take a bend towards the south to reach the northern plains of India. Thus, in the process, they result in deep V-shaped valleys which is well represented by the Indus and Brahmaputra rivers. These rivers are called as perennial rivers because they receive a constant supply of water throughout the year from rainfall and melting snow. So now, let us learn about each of these principal Himalayan river systems in detail. Click each tab to know more. Let us start our learning with the Indus system. The origin of the river Indus is in the northern slopes of the Kailash range in Tibet near Manasarovar Lake. Through Tibet, it flows in a northwesterly direction and enters India in Zammu and Kashmir. In India, its main tributaries are the rivers Jhelum, Chinab, Ravi, Bias and Sutlas. The Indus River covers the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab and Himachal Pradesh. Next, let us learn about the Ganga system. There are two main sources of the Ganga system. They are the Gangotri Glacier where it is called as Bhagirathi. The Satopanth Glacier, which is northwest of Badrinath, where it is called as Alaknanda. These two sources merge at Devaprayag and form Ganga that emerges from the hills of Haridwar. Later, Ganga is joined by a large number of tributaries like Gomti, Kosi, Gagra, Ram Ganga, Betwa, Gandak, Son, Chambal, Thamsa, Yamuna. Most of the tributaries originate from the Himalayan ranges and rest begin their course from the peninsular plateau. Let us now learn about the Brahmaputra system of rivers. The river Brahmaputra, known as Sangpo in Tibet, starts from the nose of Chemayangjang glacier of the Kailash range near Manasarovar. It flows in the east direction through southern Tibet. Near a place called as Hansi Jong, it broadens its course and forms a wide passable channel of about 640 kilometers. Thereafter, the river enters India in the southwest region through Arunachal Pradesh as Siang and then as the Dihang. On its entrance into the Assam Valley, the river system is joined by two tributaries namely the Dibang and the Lohit. From this location, the river is called as Brahmaputra.